She's breathing on her own now. I took her off the ventilator this morning. And she opened her eyes. And she saw me here and she smiled. And then she went back to sleep. What a relief. And they don't think there'll be any permanent brain damage, thank God. Oh, a card from Gabby. That blue blob is a bunch of flowers. Oh, apparently. it's lovely. Lovely. <gasps> Zoe, this is Joy Wakeford, our hospital social worker. Hello, Zoe. No, I made it perfectly plain to Dr. Calloway. There's no need for an investigation. I understand your concerns, but we do need to clear this up. I, I, I'm a, a good friend of Zoe's, and um, she's an excellent parent in every respect. I can vouch absolutely for her character, for her integrity. I'm sure you can, but if we could have a quick chat, nothing too formal, let's go and find somewhere a little less public. I give you a hand, but I was due over the road ten minutes ago. I knew I should have bought that second-hand dishwasher while I had the chance. At last. Roll your sleeves up, Donna. Your mother needs your help. No way. This is my downtime. Off to Katie's. What's oh, happened to your clothes? Fashion, Bob. Washing up, Donna. Nails, Mum. See ya. <laughs> is this really necessary? I'm sorry, Zoe, but I do need to establish the wider picture. So, how involved is Jean's father in a daily routine? He isn't involved. That's fine. Absolutely fine. But I will need his contact details so that we can have a little chat. No, I can't. Zoe, I'm not here to apportion blame. I'm here to establish the facts. Well, the fact is that I, I don't know the father. I see. I was unwell at the time of conception. Was that a schizophrenic episode? Before I was diagnosed, before I was medicated, I was on antidepressants and I had a reaction to them. Well, I will need to speak with your psychiatrist and your CPN. Do I have your permission to do that? Paul has always been very supportive. And who's the baby's primary carer? I am. And my nanny, Chloe. And you live alone? No, I live with my brother, his wife and her daughter. So you won't object if I speak to them in connection with this? You be my guest. They've all racked their brains. They all don't know how this happened. They will all tell you the same thing, that Jean is a happy, well-loved child. This was an accident. No more, no less. Are you not struggling on your own? Your old Ben's phone is sick again. You can't go on like this. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to. It's only morning and you look worn out. I had a few friends on last night. Yeah, it looks like they're still here. Dad, it's all right. Well, you're going to need help with the shearing, at least. Yeah, well, Dad, I know I do, but I'll have to take what I can get. And if that's Ben turning up whenever you can be bothered, then that's what I'm going to have to do. Come on. Hold it still. What are you up to today? Not sure. Probably just sit here and worry about Jean. Tell her to know. It's weird not having work to go to. Yeah, well, bathroom's filthy if you're short of ideas. Yeah, and there are some shirts that need ironing as well. Oh, so sensitive, you two. I'll get it. I'm looking for a Chloe Atkinson. Oh, what's done that? Joy Wakeford, Social Services, Hot and General. I didn't want her just turning up on the doorstep. Who? A social worker. Well, why the hell are they brought in a social worker? <laughs> She'll want to talk to you. Please, just try to be cooperative. They're implying that the injury wasn't accidental. As if you'd lay a finger on that child. I've never heard anything so stupid in my whole life. If they're so much as suggesting you're responsible, I'll get my solicitor onto this. We'll have a case for defamation. I haven't got time to argue, Chris. I need to get back to the hospital. Just, just tell this Joy woman the truth, and then they'll find out that there is nothing to find out and leave us alone. What are the chances of that? I tell you, once the social workers get the claws in, they can prove what they like. You've only got to read the newspaper. No, you're exaggerating, Chris. So they're suspicious of us all, then? You were the last person with Jean before she had her latest accident, weren't you? 
Yeah, and I'd gone out the room, I'd left it on her own. What are you getting at, Chris? It's obvious. You've seen how she's been with Joseph. Resents the hell out of him. Makes his life a misery. It wasn't me. I never touched her. Last thing I need is you pointing the finger at any of us. Chris, I understand you're upset by so this. So tell me, but... how exactly did you manage to break her rib? Did you shake her? Did you drop her on the floor? Oh, get lost, Chris. I didn't touch her. How dare you? That was unnecessary. Especially if she was with me when it happened, because I called her out of the room. You're a callous prat. What, Debbie moves up here. Jean manages to get seriously injured twice, both times with no witnesses. Bit too much of a coincidence, don't you think? I swear they're making these heavier than they used to. It's your age, Dad. Yeah, well, let's get back to work. Cheers for your help. Take my advice. Get that Ben sorted or find someone else. Will do. See ya. Two words, son. Wilf, butler. Do you mind? We're trying to relax here. Well, I don't think I could relax watching him sweating his guts out over there. Still, happy holidays, girls. Get him. Just ignore him, Katie. They're all the same. Miserable Yorkshire farmers, jealous of anyone having a good time. <laughs> of course, I feel really guilty that I didn't pick up on the signs. And you don't remember an accident, anything that's happened to Jean while she was in your care? Well, if it had, I'd have got her to hospital, wouldn't I? And what's Zoe's relationship with Jean like? Do her mental health problems impact on her ability to cope with her child? No way. She loves her to pieces. Look, I know she's been mentally ill, but that doesn't make her a bad mother. It doesn't mean she'd hurt a baby. This isn't a witch hunt, Chloe. I'm here to gather the facts, to find out what's happened to Jean and make sure it doesn't happen again. I'm only here to help. And you talk about her resenting Joseph. Do you know what? It's you that resents her, innit? Oh, don't try and dodge the issue. The issue? The issue is that you are accusing Debbie of deliberately putting Jean into intensive care. Maybe she didn't mean it to go that far. We all know she's volatile. All it would take is some sort of spiteful, spur-of-the-moment shove. Jean's on the floor and it all gets out I of hand. I am not listening to this, Chris. Admit it. She's got a temper. So have you. No-one's accusing you of harming my child. Think about it. Not only has she got access to that baby, she has a chip on her shoulder the size of this she house. She would never do it. She hasn't got it in her. That is the problem with the cuckoo in the nest. You don't know. None of us know what she's capable of. What does she want? Social services asking questions about Zoe. How Jean got that broken rib. They think Zoe did that to her? Deliberately? They won't find anything. It's obvious the kid just had an accident. Like she'd own up if it wasn't. It wasn't her, all right? Well, I'm happy you can be so confident. I just know that Zoe would never touch that baby. No, she probably wouldn't. Not in her right mind. But don't forget this is the woman that burnt the church down. You can be so unreasonable sometimes, Scott. She never laid a finger on that baby, so just drop it, all right? What's happened to which baby? You do know that Zoe's baby's in hospital, don't you? What's the point? You all think it was me. No, no, no. Nobody's accusing you of anything. Except Chris. He's never wanted me to do anything to turn Mum against me. We mustn't be too hard on him. He's concerned about Jean. He's worried. People react in different ways. By lying about me. What happens if he goes to the police? What will he do then? Debbie, if you've got anything to tell me, whatever it is, I promise I won't be angry. Zoe, I will never do anything to hurt her. Ask Mum, I was really upset when she went into hospital. No, I know. I'm sorry. I can't believe I even asked that question. You've no idea what it's like. Oh. Here we go again. I do know what it's like. In massive detail. It's all you'll ever go on about. It's my kid lying in intensive care. And no one's coming up to me saying they're sorry, are they? Oh, now why did I know that this would all come down to you? Because I'm the father. I've got rights too, you know. Mm -hmm. But that would mean standing up to be counted. You don't have the guts for that, do you? Well, you've been through all of that. I can't. It'll kill my mum. Might as well kiss goodbye to Chloe. And I'll be lynched as a village rapist. Right, well, you've made your decision. Stick by it. Yeah, well, that's easy for you to say, isn't it? You've no idea how it feels. Oh, and we're back to where we started again. You know your problem, Scott? You don't listen. And I'm sick and tired of going round in circles with you. Sick of listening to your limp-wristed excuses about how hard done by you are and how the world owes you this, that and the other. I've had enough. Go find yourself another shoulder to cry on. Five 
I break a nail because of you? Come to get your sun cream rubbed in, have you girls? No, we've we've come to help. Help? As in help? What's wrong with sunbathing? Uh, nothing. <laughs> no, we've got food. And uh, Donna fancies one of the young farmers, so uh, she wanted some chat up lines. Didn't you, Donna? <laughs> right, well, in that case, you see this lot? <laughs> well, they all need driving up to the top pasture. Driving them in what? As in getting behind them and persuading them to go the right way. Well, <laughs> what do we do if they don't want to? Well, you use this for a bit of encouragement. <laughs> oh, come on. You're not going to get a moving just standing there, are you? <gasps> oh! Well, I'm sorry, I just don't believe it. The girl may have had her problems, but she'd never lay a finger on that little child. She's capable of anything when she's having one of her turns. They say they've got the strength of a dozen men when they're... I don't care. I mean, it's unnatural to do that sort of thing to your own baby. So he just isn't the type. That coffee, please, babe. Well, no smoke without fire. Anyway, it'll come out soon enough now the police are involved. They've already interviewed Chloe this morning. It wasn't the police, it was the social services. Same thing. Still amounts to child abuse, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. And Zoe's not done anything to anybody, at least of all, Jean. So if I were you, I'd wait till I got my facts right. So how did it go? <sighs> Sounds like Zoe's prime suspect. It's all getting out of hand. I didn't think this would happen, but it looks like they're out to get her. And you know what you've got to do, don't you? I hate the nappies they give you in there. Cheap. Um, could you pass me those tubes of cream, please, and her teething ring? Yep. Debbie's locked herself in a her room, and she's not going to come out, not till you've apologised to her. She'll be in there for some time, then. She never laid a finger on Jean. Oh, pulled the big-eyed orphan Annie routine on you, has she? No, she told me the truth and I believe her. Truth? An abstract concept on the sort of council estate she was dragged out. Can you hear yourself? She might not have had the best start in life. For sake, stop it! My daughter is lying in hospital and all you two can do is rip each other apart. And why is she there in the first place? All I'm trying to do is point out a few salient facts. And I am being investigated by social services who think that I've harmed my own child. Not once, but twice. I am not stupid. I know that if I can't prove otherwise, they might be able to take her away from me. How's that for a salient fact? Came here for sunbathing, not cow herding. Donna, people pay good money for this sort of exercise in the gym. And the filthy, don't you crush them? Oh my god! What a child! Donna! I take you to the hospital, you own up, and then Zoe's in the clear. Oh, I can't think about how that's gonna look. Not half as bad as it is for Zoe. I know, I know, and I feel awful about it, I really do. But it's gonna sound so dodgy that I never said anything at the time. They're gonna think I'm one of those weirdo nannies who hurts kids on purpose. They won't. Not if you tell them the truth. What, that I was having sex with my boyfriend's best mate instead of looking after Jean? You're gonna have to. You're the only one who can get Zoe off the hook. But we don't know for certain that she's in trouble. Think about it. It's only a matter of time. Oh, no, we can't. It's going to open up a whole can of worms. If it all comes out about you and me, it'll kill Scott. You'll get over it. Trust me. Come on, I'll take you to the hospital. You've got to come If I do, I'll lose my job. Yeah, and if you don't, Zoe might lose a daughter. You owe her that much. Right, so what happens now then? Well, I'll write a report and make my recommendations. I know this is a difficult time for all of you, but I am here to help. Please try not to worry. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, she didn't want to speak to you after all. What are you doing? I'm going. Going where? Anywhere but here. I'm not staying where I'm not wanted. Wait a minute, you are wanted and don't ever think that you're not. Yeah, well, not by him. He hates me. Why else would he tell Zoe a load of lies? He's just upset about Jean and he doesn't want to think that Zoe might have anything to do with it. Yeah, well, she ain't though, has she? Well, I don't think so. I hope not. But I don't know and sometimes I think she doesn't know either and, and he's frightened so he's lashing out at you instead. You don't think I did hurt her though, do you? No, Debbie. No, I don't. Because if you do, 
And I don't want you as my mum. No, Debbie, come here. Now, you listen to me, right? You take that bag back upstairs where it belongs. Go on. Hi, Mother. I'm home. Oh, thank goodness you're back. I need some help unscrewing this U-bend. Notice anything unusual? I've lost my eternity ring. Again? Bob's gonna go berserk. I hope nobody saw you coming in here looking like that. Don't you want to know what I've been doing? My dressling? Any other mum would be worried? Any other mum would be bothered that one of Andy's cows charged at me and knocked me over? And I've broken a nail? All you care about is your big fat self? You're talking about me now, I know it. You're getting this out of proportion, Zoe. Well, why wouldn't they hate me? Just look at her. She's so small, so fragile, so helpless. What kind of monster would want to cause her pain? There's been no difference in their attitude towards you, I promise. What do you want now, Zoe? I wonder, could we have another little chat? Interrogated my friends and family, have you? Got to the bottom of it now. Please, can we just take this out of the ward? OK. But this time, Ashley comes with me. Take those off and I'll shove them in the washer for you, eh? How long we done as bikini? <laughs> Never seen her run so fast in my life. Shame me didn't have your camera with you. Wait until I see her tonight. Oh, well, she's not coming round. Didn't see the funny side? No, nobody's coming round. I've decided we're having a quiet night in tonight. Why? Because you can't work as hard as you work and expect to stay up all night drinking beer now, can you? Yeah, well, I can. What was all that you said to Donna last night about stamina? Yes, it's for me as well as you. Besides, remember what I told you? Don't you wide awake when I get you up to bed? Oh, you do have a point. And you can't rely on Ben, can you? You need someone else at this time of year. Yeah, well, I can hardly manage to pay Ben. I can't afford to. Well, you can now, because I've decided to get a summer job. You can't. School breaks, you, and you work hard enough as it is. Not as hard as you, though, Andy. We're in this together, aren't we? Right, that's settled then. And uh, seeing as we're having a quiet night in, how do you fancy getting your back to club, Dave? You've no right, no right at all to ask me that question. I know this is difficult, but you must keep calm, Zoe. But I know what she's getting at, and it makes me sick. She's getting at nothing. Are you, Julie? All I want to know is how your mental health impacts on your ability to take care of Jean. It's a pertinent question, Zoe. You have to be honest, Zoe. You've nothing to hide, after all. If anything, I felt more in control. More focused. And you don't find it a bit too much of a juggling act at times? No, I'm a mother first, a schizophrenic second. I'm sorry, where is this conversation going? My illness has got nothing to do with my ability to look after my baby. We did spend some time in a clinic around the time of Jean's birth. You can't use that against me. I realised things were getting too much, so I admitted myself. I'm well. I'm medicated. I don't have a problem. If you go up confirmation of that, you can go and ask my CPN. We had a chat this afternoon. Well, Paul will have backed me up. He knows I've got support systems in place. He'll tell you how well I manage. He happened to mention something you said about not being able to cope with Jean. Well, I would never have said that. He suggested you'd mentioned it a few times, how you'd never manage without help. No. No, no, you misunderstood it. It's a sort of standing joke between us. A joke. Even a social worker must understand that word. I'm afraid that's not how it came over to me. She's a teenager. They do it for effect. There's no way she'd give up all this. She would if she felt unwanted. She might be a kid, but she has still got her pride. Just like her mother, eh? Do you know what? You were all over Debbie when she first came here. It was you that persuaded me to take her on, if you'd remember. That was a long time ago. That was before I knew the full picture. Yeah, until you found out that Kay was a father. And then you changed, didn't you? Just like that. Well, it's not rocket science, Chris. It doesn't take a genius to work out why. You're talking complete nonsense. You're jealous as hell. You hate Kane. You hate the fact that he's still in my life. You can't take it out on him, so what do you do? You make Debbie suffer instead. Well theorised, Professor. Well, she doesn't deserve it, Chris. Kane might be her dad, but he's had nothing to do with her. She's her own person. She's not some scumbag dingle on the make. 
You can take the girl out of the dingle, but you can't take the dingle out of the girl. You've only got to look at her mother. Evil. That's what this is. Evil. You take your accusations away from me. Away from my baby. I'm sorry, Zoe, but I'm only trying to act in Jean's best interests. <laughs> By accusing me of child abuse. What kind of malicious, wicked monster would hurt their own child? Do I look like that person? You misunderstand. I'm not trying to accuse you of anything. Yes, but you're admitting that I'm under suspicion just because I had the misfortune to be mentally ill. You've all been out to get me ever since I kept Jean. You've all been trying to prove that I'm an unfit mother. Well, I've got news you. I'm not. I'm quite capable of looking after my own daughter. I think it's best we finish today. Yes, I think you should leave. Just go. You go and get away from me. What's going on? Zoe's a little upset. How's Jean? Breathing on her own, thank God. Can I go through her pockets? Can I be Chloe? She's telling lies about me. She's telling the doctor that I heard you, that I would never heard her. And and I think I'm mad, so it's got to be me, please. Please, tell them I'm a good mother. We all know that you are, Zoe. Oh, they're not going to listen to me now. They're not going to believe me. They're going to take my baby away from me.